today we're going to do drum pop So good news, drum pop are the last exercise on the bar before most students would go to the center or do some sort of dance, so yeah. And the purpose of Gaunt Bot Month is basically to stretch out our hips and get ready for those large jumps and those beautiful movements that we can see. Um, so Gaunt Bot Bot Months, so what are Gaunt Bot Months? Gaunt Bot Months are simply just leggings. Think of them like that, but they just have a fancy name to them. And basically, they're not as difficult as the seem. So today I've broken down Gaunt Bot Months into three steps for you. Preparation, in the air, and coming down. So grab bot must can be done in either first or fifth. I'm going to do the first today, just to keep being simple. And you can have either, I think, best to have one hand on the bar, but just for showing you guys, I'm going to do this for So the first step to grab bot must is that you must go through a tondu. You must go through a tondu. Does that make sense? If you can go through a tondu, you're already one third of the way. So you can go tondu front, tondu side, or tondu back. Alright, does that make sense? So the next part, that's your preparation, is that you want to go in the air. So when you go in the air, you're going to want to brush tondu, go to jet tank, dagger jay. You're going to want to bring your leg as high as you can quickly, and come down. So I can't hold my leg up there, so I'm just going to really quickly talk about you when you come, When you go up, you want to go fast. But when you come down, you want to come nice and slow, and you want to finish right on your tondu, or you can go and straight up, sorry. Does that make sense? So let me show that. So if you're doing front, you're going to want to tondu up, down, and in. Now there are a few things to keep in mind. We don't want to send our hip. We don't want to send our hip like that. And we don't want to move our upper body too much. We want to hold it nice, and we're going to go up. And it's okay if you can't do 180. No one was born to do being able to do 180. So if you want to keep it 90, that's always a good height. A little bit higher, and if you can, you can totally do the all that. So again, let's talk about the three steps. We're going to go here, we're going to go front, here, up, up, and then we're going to go high, down, and here. Does that make sense? All the three steps you'll see in front, side, and back. Okay? And so just to practice that, because I think it's pretty easy. I'm sure that most of you sorry you will get it automatically. Let's do a quick little combination that includes um, these ground bot moves. So it's going to be super easy, and we're actually going to take something we learned in the first video back, or I think fourth video back. So we're going to do three bot ground bot moves in the front, and then on the fourth one, actually no, three ground bot moves, and then we're going to plie. Then we're going to do three to the side, and we're going to plie. And then we're going to do three to the back, and then we're going to plie. So I do still have a back injury, so I won't be able to do the back ones too high, but I'll keep them as high as I'll keep them mostly high enough for you guys to get the gist of the idea. Okay? Ready? And we're gonna do preparation, two hands off the bar. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, and the two, three, and the four, five, and the six, please, yay, and seven, and a one, sorry, and a one. And the two, three, and the four, five, and the six, plie, and go. Plus one, and the two, three, and the four, five, and the six, seven, and eight. To the side. One, and the two, three, and the four, five, and the six, and seven, and eight. Does that make sense? Do we all know how to do drop off? Great. Thank you guys so much for coming to this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.